Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about sewing planners or planners for sewing projects. So today I'm going to show you kind of what I've used in the past. I've bought a couple so that you can make a decision about what would be the best version for you. If you go over to my blog post, you can find the link in the description. I will link to a couple of free ones if you want to just download it and print it off from home. January is the best time for thinking about goals and you know what you want to accomplish for the year. I love in January to make goals, think about what I want to sew, kind of reevaluate what fabric I have, what's in my closet, all of that together to kind of think about the year and how I want to plan it out. Think about years in the past where I've maybe planned too much or I haven't planned enough. I have lots of fun ideas. So let's dive into it. On the cheaper end of sewing planners are actually just using notebooks. And I've actually done this for years and years. So this one says maker's gonna make, and I think my son gave this to me for Christmas years ago and I'm still working through it. And then this is a notebook, but it looks like a vintage pattern. This was given to me by a sewing friend and uh, she gave me two and the other one I've used up. So now I'm going through this one. So this is fun because it's kind of like, looks like a pattern. So it reminds you it has sewing stuff in it. But basically um, this is great for just a notebook, whatever notebook you like. So if I open it up, you can see this one is kind of more like my work one. So I have all of these notes in here and I rip them out as I go through it and get it done. You can see in the front that this has been ripped out. This one is more actually I use for when I'm designing patterns and I need to do all of these math and charts and stuff. You can see here I've drawn the swimsuits that I wanted to make for myself. I kind of did the color. Um, the fabric, like this was a ribbed swimsuit knit. Um, what else is in here? This is the sewing list of things I want to do. I actually need to go through to see if I finished those. So I just have all of that. So this one I haven't used very much. I have ripped out papers, but I still have a lot left. I do really appreciate having a ribbon bookmark so then I can mark the place I'm at. So I have used notebooks off and on for years. It's not very common that I will draw the item, but I'll write down the fabric and the pattern name that I wanna do, maybe any alterations I wanna do. So I'll write that down. Um, it sometimes coincides with a Pinterest board that I have like inspiration. So I'm writing it down here, but then if I need to look at like, oh, I wanna do this hack, then I'll go look at my Pinterest board to get like an idea of that. It's a great way to keep you organized. I love having a notebook. These ones are small enough that I can fit them in my purse or my backpack if I need to take them with me. You can cut a piece of fabric and tape it or staple it inside if you wanna keep that. It will start to make your notebook like not close so well, but that is a possibility. Sometimes I will draw out the idea that I have and I will color it like I like you saw before. And something if you want, you can get some sewing stickers to go with it. So you can make notes of like, I need to buy a color thread or needles or buttons or something. And you can use the stickers to help you make notes because stickers are always fun when you are working on your planner and plans. Now, a little bit more expensive. Um, these are books I found on Amazon. They are under $10. And the hard thing that, that I found about these, the reason I have three is that I looked up, like I was shopping for them and I was looking for them and I couldn't see what the inside of the planner looked like. So um, I didn't know quite what was on the inside. It didn't show you anything. It only showed the front and the back, which doesn't really give you information. So what I found after getting these three that these are very similar. They might even be made by the same company, just with different fronts and like different fonts and stuff. So in like looking back, I should have only bought one but I will show you all of them. So then maybe there are small enough differences that there's one that you would like the best. So this one, the sewing project logbook, I actually like this one because it's small. 
it's easier to bring with you. These ones are a lot bigger, but if you look inside, so you can write who it belongs to, but this is like a project page. So you can name your project, project type, sewing pattern. You can write when you started and when you finished, you write who it's made for. Um, so the setup, I love this because you have like your settings, your needle, um, thread, so then you can always remember it. So you're not thinking back like, well, how did I, how did I do that? Or I don't remember measurements, a sketch of what it's going to be. You can color it right here, materials, any items that you might need or that you use. So then you can keep track of the price, the quantity, all of that is right here. So that's essentially what that is through the entire book. Um, so it's simple, but it's a great way to keep track of all of those tiny details so you don't have to remember it in your head. This one is a bigger one. So when you open it up, it says who this belongs to, but then when you get inside, it's very similar to the other one, but not actually not as detailed. So you have the project number, the deadline when it needs to be done. That's very handy. Project name, who you made it for, sewing pattern, theme, measurement, fabric description, fabric swatch. So this is where you could tape in or glue in a piece of fabric. Fitting notes. So this actually to me seems like it leans more towards um, sewing clothing because fitting notes are very important, especially when you're working on patterns and you switch it a different way each time, you know, and you need to make note of lengthening or, you know, letting something out. And then um, you have all the things you used down here. You actually also have a way of like cost, like that's a total cost difficulty and then like a review of the result so that's handy to keep track of this also seems more like maybe you would use this to bill people like if you were keeping track of if you did projects for work and you were billing people that might work so that is a good one it doesn't have as many spots for details as the small one but it's still a really great um, planner. Let's do this last one. I like this front. I think it's very pretty and simple. So you can write your name right here. And then in here, um, so you have your name, your project type, which is clothing or home decor, and then you would write what it is. The designer, size, who's it, who is it made for, deadline, sketch, fabric swatch, supply notions like you keep that here and then notes then you have billing rating and difficulty so this one is even almost less detailed than the other two i do like that it has a sketch and that it has a fabric swatch i think those are important but there's not as many notes for like machine or tools or the supplies like the stitch length um all that kind of stuff but it's still you know, it would be a great way to keep track of all your projects. The last ones I'm going to go through are the more expensive ones and um, are very specific to um, a certain type of sewing. So let me show you these ones. So this is actually a Pantone book. Um, I got this several years ago. I'm still working through it. So some of the colors might be a little bit old, but this is really for like fashion design and um, drawing clothing on like a croquis. So it talks about taking measurements, thinking about colors. It goes through all of these different types of clothing. Um, there's a glossary. So then here you can see this is a swimsuit I have drawn. You can see I often draw swimsuits. For some reason I plan those better than everything else. But these um, pages have the croquis that you can draw on and if you scan them in then these lines actually disappear and so there's so many different like um, there's different positions and poses so you can draw on the one that you want so you can like figure that out like I've drawn here some more swimsuit styles I've I did my like measurements and how I need to cut it out. My children 
added some stickers right there. So this is like in the past, like I drew some overalls. I think that was a swimsuit. I can't remember what I was drawing there and maybe I didn't finish that one. But then I have more swimsuits over here. So there's lots of notes. I love that I can do like the front and the back and the side of things. I don't think this croquis is accurate to body type. It's not my body type. It's not anybody else's body type, but I do appreciate being to, able to draw on a body because it helps um, visualize it better. So this is really geared toward if you are doing a lot of fashion sewing or like designing for other people because it helps with being able to draw it out or maybe you do a lot of hacking and you don't know quite how to visualize it on your head but then you can visualize it on that. So this one is like a vintage pattern on the front but it's actually just a notebook almost more of like a drawing pad. You can see this is where I drew out my quilt coat like how I wanted to do the patches and then all the quilt lines. But, um, and this is like other things I wanted to make. I would cross it off when I finished it, but this really is, you know, these are just notes. This is kind of how I would draw things out and figure things out. So it's basically a notebook like the first ones I showed you, but um, it's bigger. I like how if you opened it, you could go all the way like this. And then you could do, you know, so it makes it easier to keep it open when you're drawing. Um, I like that there's a lot of open space. There's no lines to get in your way. It's not as much for writing as much as it's really just for like sketching and drawing. So this is a great book. This doesn't have very many papers, so it's slightly smaller, but it's still a fun book to use. The last one I'm going to show you, this is the most expensive one. It does have a vintage pattern on the front. Um, this is like an actual planner. It works well because it does, it goes for any year. It's not like a specific year. So in the front there's all of these fun stickers that you can use inside and then there's these sleeves which you could put pictures or fabric or inspiration something in here so let's get into the planner so see so you can see i bought this before because it has years from the past on here but so there's like a glossary let's see there's all sorts of like sewing information in here to help you out then projects so this is like your project planning section so it has like to do, the swatches of fabric, um, project description, date, pattern number, supplies and tools, alterations and notes. So this is kind of like the bare bones of all of the things you would want to keep track about a project, but it would work very well for, you know, doing projects. Then there's, you know, you could write in all of your measurements so that you always have that reference. But then there's just more of these project pages and on the back you can some of them have projects you own on the back sketches so there's just a lot of mix of um, good things to use when you're planning here is swatches so you could keep every one of your fabrics that you have in here so that when you if you keep this with you in your purse or your backpack or whatever then when you're at the fabric store you can match thread, you can match fabric. Uh, so it's really great, it's really handy so you can have it with you when you're not at home. Then when you get through here, here is the calendar. So this is just like the goal for the month, but then you see January, this is the whole month, then this is each week, and then it's gonna go through every single month all the way through. So as you can see, like this is really thick. I love having those tabs so you can just go to the section you need. It has this for binding it. Um, it doesn't work quite as well as something like this, but it still works okay. So this one is like, if you're really good at taking notes and you want a really good planner and you could put other like work or life goals, like you could have all of your scheduling in here along with your sewing stuff, then you could have that in here and keep track of everything at once. 
I will link to all of the planners down below and the notebooks, anything that you're interested in. I want to know, do you use a sewing planner? Do you like to write out your projects? Do you take notes so that you can reference them? What do you do? How do you organize your sewing projects and like keeping track of them? Do you have a way to remember all of your fabric? Please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear any tips or tricks that could help me so I can be better with organizing my sewing and I know it can help other people. If you are really interested in sewing, you can check out these playlists with beginner sewing projects and like how to sew tutorials. It's kind of like the basics of sewing. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.